My little breakfast is a bagel and bacon. Get ready with me for the first day of externship. I have like about an hour to get ready and I'm just gonna get myself like put together. I wanna do like a light makeup just cause I don't wanna do too much makeup. I need to be at my extern site around 8, 7, 45. I'm really excited but like very, very nervous. What if I forget everything I just learned? Like, what if I like just forget and then the other thing is the doctor i'm gonna be with he's a travel doctor meaning he travels like in the area i'm gonna be using the elf halo glow liquid filter little i don't even know this is just like a tip huh i just have a foundation i know a lot of people put their foundation under and then they put this but since i'm not wearing foundation today i'm just gonna wear that a lot of people ask me like why i decided to go into the medical field and Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I always knew that I wanted to work with people, but I didn't know what field. I did see myself as a social worker for a while, just because when I used to be in the system, like I saw a lot of things that like I that inspired me to go into that field. I don't know. I just was like, you know what? I want to do like nursing later on in the future. So I decided to start off as an MA. I remember I wanted to be a teacher. Always wanted to be a teacher. The second one was to be an actor, but what? how was I going to do that? I don't know. And then my third one, girl, this was like delusional me, but I want to be a model. The fourth one was social worker, and then right now it's like medical assistant, uh, a CNA, or like a nursing degree. I don't know. And the only reason why I did medical assistant was because I was like, you know what? Like a lot of people told me it's better to get your foot in the door. Because, like, what if you don't like it and then you go to school for nursing and you're like, I don't like this. And, like, medical assistant really gives you the opportunity to, you know, get a feel of what the medical field is like. My goal in the long run is to become a nurse. Specifically, a labor and delivery nurse or a NICU nurse or postpartum, something in that field. So, I decided to start off as an MA, get my skills up, get my experience up, and then in a couple more years, you know, go back to school and go for nursing it's good you know for me to kind of step in slowly learn how to deal with patients learn different medical terminology learn different skills and stuff like that because obviously they teach you some at school but i feel like once you start working you get like a whole other feel i do not want to stop here hopefully sometime in the near future i go back to school and get my certification for like nursing or like another i don't know another career and then there's a lot of people that like tell me or like ask me like why did you do this like you know you have youtube you have like your platforms and you're on you're on social media blah 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 blah, blah. social media has been my number one source of income for the last the past like i want to say like six years i've been doing social media and like I said, gracias a Dios, like, I have what I have because of social media. I would not be anywhere where I'm at without social media. Do I want to rely on social media? No. You just never know. And, like, and that's my thing. Like, I want to have plans. Like, what if social media doesn't work? What if one day, like, I don't know, they just magically stop paying on social media? What if one day, like, people just decide to, like, leave social media for the good? You just never, ever know. And you just have to be prepared for anything that could happen. One, I don't know what's going to happen with social media in 10, 20 years from now. On top of that, if I'm being truly honest, I feel like by the idea that one day I'm just going to be like, hey, you know, like, I want more of, like, a private life. Like, I already did it on social media. Just back away from it. 
just gonna wanna like back away from that kind of life and just like be more like low key. I think about that a lot just because it's possible that I do this for the rest of my life, but there's still that chance of me not doing this for the rest of my life. I just wanna have a career and you know, have a plan B just in case this doesn't work out for me. If it continues to work out for me, well, good, you know, que bueno. But if it doesn't, well, it doesn't, and I already have my career. El mundo da muchas vueltas. Not me overthinking at 6 in the morning. Go to sleep, Delisa. But you get the point. I'm supposed to graduate on October 27th, so I literally have more than, like, um, around a month to finish my hours, and I need to finish 180 hours within six weeks which i think it'll be good so i'm gonna be working around 40 hours a week for free <laughs> like honestly that was the only thing about extern i was like you can at least give us a paycheck of like i don't know like 300 dollars for gas at least especially in my case girl like i'm traveling with this doctor and he's all over the place one day he's gonna be by the north side other day east side south side and then like girl like almost literally almost going to mexico i'm probably like 20 minutes away from the border so it's gonna be quite a journey because having to go back and forth and then i have a truck my truck wastes a ton of gas no honestly i don't want to say it wastes a lot of gas i probably have to like fill up my tank like once a week depending if i don't use it on the like weekends which usually that's not the case usually um we use the black truck which is my boyfriend's truck so i put powder just to i'm gonna go ahead and start doing my hair i think i'm just gonna do a braid that way my hair is out of i think i'm just gonna do a braid that way my hair is out of my face and i did a shower last night so my hair is still kind of wet so i'm just gonna grab it into a side braid and then we're gonna call it a day i use the bio silk oil girl if you have not been using this still what are you doing? Run to Marshalls. I get mine at Marshalls. I'm pretty sure you can find it at TJ Maxx, Target, Walmart. But I love it. It makes my hair smell so good, soft, and like silky. I love it. I know, I know, I look like an egg. <laughs> I look like my dad. People already tell me I look like a guy, and now imagine me with like, mmm. I don't know what I should do with my lips. Mm. I think I'm just gonna put like tint on them, and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and change and put on my scrubs. So I can get ready to leave because it's getting late. These scrubs do not fit me. Mind you, I still have to wear my uniform scrubs that I wore for school. So, kind of big for my waist. But for my butt, girl, my butt can barely breathe. Or my legs. Little OTD. These are my scrubs. I'm wearing a white long sleeve under my scrubs. And then my Crocs. And then, of course, have my things here in my tote bag. I'm all ready to go. I put some of this lip tint, but I think I'm gonna put more because I feel like my lips are super dry. But then I don't like wearing a lot of lip tint because it looks like I literally ate like a slushy. I was trying to vlog on my camera and it literally died on me right when I got here. But like I was gonna say, I got to my exercise. I'm super, super, super nervous. I literally had to take off my nails the other night and look how they look. Like I literally just painted them by myself, but they look like shit. I want to show you guys really quick my cup. Look how cute. Look how cute my little straw cover is. Like, I know this is for, like, a Stanley cup, but I don't have a Stanley cup. I'm pretty sure you can use these um, straw covers for anything that has a straw, but the majority of people that use it are people that have Stanley cups. I just stick with my Hydro Flask or my Starbucks cup. And I was actually going to bring water in my Hydro Flask today, but I don't want to be carrying it. So, uh, maybe after today, once I see, like, you know get show con las cosas then i'll probably start bringing my hydro flask because i drink a lot of water and we'll go ahead and put on my little badge look how cute girl you already know i love everything bling like, if honestly if i could have got this straw cover blinged out like i would have gotten it blinged out i got these on shein and then i got my little badge id thingy majiggy on amazon I'll go ahead and have the link for it down below. It has my student ID and then I have the adult vital sign cheat sheet. I didn't know if I should wear this, but I'm going to wear it anyways because how I'm just like a student. I still have to like show that I'm like here for extern. Like I'm not like a worker worker. I'm just, I'm just a college student. I'm going to go ahead and get off because I'm sad to but 
I'm super, super, super nervous. I'll go ahead and update you guys as much as I can because I know I'm not going to be able to film. I will catch you guys up later. It is currently 5 o'clock and I finally got out, girl. The day went by so, so slow. I was really doing anything. I was just kind of sitting there. I am exhausted. I just want to go home and take a nap. It's day two of externship. It is currently 6.54. I woke up at 6 today, but my boyfriend and I actually had to like pack everything up today. Like for lunch and stuff. That took a little bit of time because we made food and stuff. But I'm gonna quickly get ready. I probably have like 20 minutes to get ready. So I'm just gonna really quickly do some light makeup. So I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit of day one. Yesterday was a really, really good day. Not exactly what I wish that was doing. I wanted something more in OBG or pediatrics, but I was open to try anything because once again, it's just extern. If I don't like it, I don't. If I do like it, I do. But I'm not really like complaining. <laughs> I'm literally working in ENT and I never ever learn any of the things that I'm doing. The tools that I'm using are completely different than the ones I learned. Some of them I'm familiar with. I'm familiar with some supplies, but not all. Which, again, like I said, just gets me more experience. I feel like this first week, I'm going to be all over the place just because I don't know exactly what to expect from each um, different site that I'm going to be going to. As soon as I step in the door, I was freaking shitting bricks. I've heard so many bad experiences of people that go on extern and they hate their site because you know there's like girls like you know i just was really scared to walk into that kind of environment because i would have started crying but thankfully that was not the case well for this location i don't know about today's location um hopefully it's like that at every location i hope that everyone is like very welcoming I hope everyone's just like super nice and super like you know i braided my hair because it's like super wavy and i just cut my hair so my hair looks so healthy like i'm like thank god it looks pretty short i didn't cut it too much i just cut the tips i cut like probably like two fingers from my hair um just because i like need to cut it like i had a braid all day yesterday and the day before that and then i like i sleep with braids so my hair is like super wavy like super wavy but it's wavy if you guys watched my sheen haul i was never able to open this i'm gonna put on lip gloss in the car just because i need to hurry up i'm gonna change real quick and then i'll be right back i'm all ready to go thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching or like hearing me talk for my first day of externship thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye